Yesterday, the superintendent of the Roanne Salisbury school system publicly expressed a desire to transform the public schools by focusing on children age three through high school. What do you think about her ambitions in this regard, and how would you be prepared to help her as a county commissioner? Mr. Cobb. As a father of school-age children, I, I know how important it is. Uh, I sat here and I, I look back at my, my education experience and how you know where, where it was lacking, where it was where it was strong. And then I, I've got a third grade daughter, she brings home homework, and I've got a first grade son, and he brings home homework, and I see the, the work that our teachers put in. Uh, I don't think our problem is countywide, it's more on a school by school basis. It's not all schools are testing the same. You know, it's not that we have a failing educational system here in Rowan County. It's I think it's a lot of uh, different schools have different needs. There's you know, schools that are lacking textbooks, where every child can't take a textbook home, where the, the teachers are having to copy pages on a copier and send it home with those students, and then they have to do homework that way. It's, you can't get the full learning experience because there's nowhere, if you need to cross-reference to another part of the, the book, how are you going to do that? We've, uh, I, I've talked with Dr. Moody and she has some great plans. It's, the, the literacy rate is pretty dismal. Um, you know, it's pretty high. Uh, the illiteracy rate for the school children is pretty high. Uh, I'd like to see a change there. Let's, you know, everybody needs to read. Everybody needs to learn to read. And, I hope we can get this done um, in this upcoming election where we can get some forward movement in our school education system. Mr. Adams. <laughs> Had a couple of uh, two-hour meetings with Dr. Moody. I feel like uh, if we were an NFL team, it's like we got a first-round draft pick and we're able to get uh, just a terrific person. She's a woman of vision, I believe. Uh, she's a, le a true leader, and um, I think this community is very, very fortunate to have her here. You use the word, Dr. Bitzer, transform. Uh, the word transformative is something that I think this community is looking for. I had the opportunity to have breakfast a couple of weeks ago, talking about building bridges with uh, the school superintendent, uh, Dr. Uh, oh, now I'm going to have to call his name. Uh, K. Wright Norman, Susan Cox, and then uh, also the superintendent of schools. We had over a two-hour two discussion and we talked about transformative things. I really encouraged them and told them that what this community is looking for is, uh, is heroes in the education community. The community is looking to the school board and looking to Dr. Moody to set a new tone for education. I said when I announced uh, that I was running for county commission that in the area of education that I wanted uh, bold sweeping changes. I wanted, I wanted changes so bold that the community has to say we can't do that. And if we're not saying we can't do that, then we need to go back to the drawing board and start over. So a transformative. Um, just some things are down. Bold and transformative is something that I think we need to do. So uh, we need to get in behind her. Uh, we need to find out what we as county commissioners, I realize we don't make decisions, but what is missing, I believe, is the teachers and the school need to know that they have a partner in the county commission. And I will certainly be a willing and uh, accomplice in the area of education. Mr. Gray. Um, I, I kid the folks at the school system that I'm an expert in education. I taught school for a year and a half, 38 years ago. <laughs> so I can resolve all these problems. The truth of the matter is that we can't, we're not going to resolve the problem with all students in our schools 
because all students don't have the same background, they don't have the same family value, uh, same families, and they do not have people who value education and will let them know that education is the way to pull themselves up from the bootstraps. I, in my family, I'm the first person to ever graduate from college. It's not an indictment of my family at all, but it it's just gives you an idea of the opportunities that have been uh, made available to my generation. And I hope to goodness that we can have that same opportunity to the kids that are coming along now. Uh, but our school system was just ranked 68th in the state. Um, we can argue about testing, we can argue about all kinds of things, but there's definitely something different has to happen. Uh, we have children with different learning needs or, or learning abilities, and whether it's uh, magnet schools, I hadn't, hadn't had a chance to talk with Dr. Moody about exactly what she's proposing, but um, I back the school systems. I think that we have to educate our children. That is one of our primary objectives as uh, county commissioners. Uh, we have to have 21st century students to fill 21st century jobs. And we can only do that by improving our school system. Thank you. It's been a little while. Would you repeat the question again? Yesterday, the superintendent publicly expressed a desire to transform the public schools by focusing on children age three through high school. What do you think about her ambitions, and how would you be prepared to help her as a county commissioner? Well, first off, as people have repeatedly said, Dr. Woody is a bright light, and I've said that myself in the past. I did get to speak with her for about an hour and a half. I tried not to take up too much of her time. I'm surprised that she's including people, young children, three years, three and four years of age. Um, that's something that I, is new to me here, so I, I don't even want to address that. Um, I am, however, going to ask you folks a question. Here we sit. This argument we've had in the past about the central office and the funding of the schools and the intractable people that we call the county commissioners, there's only one problem. Our school board has been the same people, and they've had four votes or more, as Mr. Sides has said. They've had four votes or more for 12 to 20 years, and they didn't get the job done. In the last 10 years, our county commission has turned over with different people. So who is the intractable force here? We're laying the blame for everything on our county commission. Our school has failed for the last 20 years. When are you going to change your school system? When are you going to change your board of directors of the schools? Our post has never publicly question the chairman of the school board, Dr. Miller, but they repeatedly question Mr. Sots. I'm wondering why the questions aren't asked and the accountability isn't asked of the elected school board. It is no different than the elected county commissioners. So I, I consider some of that an unfair question. Thank you. 